So recently, my little monkey rat brother has been going into my room and stealing snacks from my snack drawer. And every single time I confront him about it, he denies it even though he's caught in 4K on camera. The plan is simple. Here's my drawer, here's my brother, I just need some sort of thing that detects him and stops him from getting the snacks. And then I need some sort of authentication so that I can get the snacks and he can. But first, I wanted to confront my brother to see if he would confess. FBI, open up! Did you steal snacks from my snack drawer? <laughs> did you or did you not steal, steal snack from my snack drawer? No, then what's that around your mouth? What is that? Lipstick. What? So obviously, as Tech Joyce, it was time to get to work and find a way to stop my little brother. So the first thing I did was look around my room and I realized that I have a lot of electronic parts. And I mean a lot. Honestly guys, this is concerning. But then I realized the more parts I have, the more possibilities there are, if you know what I mean. <laughs> But just so we're clear, I would never hurt my little brother. Stop the cow. <laughs> <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> 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 so I looked around my desk for a more kid-friendly approach and I found this RFID module and a card which came with header pins, which means that I will need to solder this myself. And if you guys didn't already know, I suck at soldering. I suck. I, I suck. <laughs> But with the R fighting module, I can make a lock system on my drawer, and then my brother can't open my drawer without the correct key fob, and that's it. What a fantastic solution. Psych! Oh, you really thought it would just end like that? No, 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 no. Instead of a lock, I'm gonna implement an electrocution feature. Bam! A little high voltage transformer won't hurt anybody. Bam! Thin speaker. Huh? Whoa! Whoa, isn't this cool, guys? So the first thing I did was solder the header pins onto the RFID module and one thing I can confidently not recommend to you guys is soldering without any ventilation and breathing in all these fumes cause that's what I did and I might die in my 20s but I guess I'm just built different. And of course I messed up. You know what guys, this is a great learning opportunity because I'm gonna show you guys what I do to fix a solder bridge. Boring. As you guys can tell that is very much bridged and to fix it I just grab myself a wire and watch. Whoa, you see that? The wire like sucks up the solder for you, it's great. And now with this finished, I'm one step closer to electrocuting my little brother for stealing my Cheetos. So then I finally started building the actual circuit with the RFID module and everything was working as expected so I moved on to adding the code for the ultrasonic sensor and the relay. After that was done, I added those parts to the actual circuit and all I had left was to add this big board. <laughs> Alright guys, so I think I got it working. If you don't scan the key fob and you try to open the drawer, this will happen. As you can tell, that activates. Now, let's scan the key fob. And then try to open it? Nope. Nope. Yeah, so it won't zap me now. But before adding the high voltage transformer, I had the great idea of adding a buzzer. And I mean, it shouldn't take long, right? R right? Wrong. One eternity later. I can't do this anymore. Spend two hours in a gap for this working. After chat GPTing 50 billion questions and still not being able to use this random buzzer I found on my desk, I decided to look through my desk again. And the whole entire time, I had a piezo buzzer. So I just wasted two hours of my life doing the... <sighs> so to calm down, I ate some cherries and got back to work. Then I connected the new buzzer to the circuit and it was working perfectly. And it buzzes! Yeah! Yeah! And finally, I connected the high voltage transformer to the relay and the Arduino and it was finally done. Ooh! <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> yep! Yep, no fire, no sparks! <laughs> I'm lying to my mother. But now, if I scan this... No shocking! For 10 seconds! And after the 10 seconds is over... Yep, it's back. It's back. And now with the circuit built and ready, it was finally time to move it into my snack drawer. Except, when I walked into my room, both my brothers were in there playing Wii Sports! One hour later... Okay guys, so we have everything here, and now we just gotta put it into this drawer somehow. Um... I'm not really sure how to do that. Can you guys believe I'm 17 years old? Like, I'm gonna lick this battery just because. <gasps> All right, guys, I got some female wires. You know why it's called female? Because they got holes. And you know what? We know what. Now, as you guys can tell, I'm just shoving it into this drawer. I had no plan, just some duct tape and some creativity. And I personally think it turned out great. Comment down below, Tech Joyce's Sigma Daddy, if you agreed. <laughs> All right, guys, so it should be working now, but I'm gonna be wearing boxing gloves for safety reasons. <laughs> Okay, that, that's enough, that's enough. 
So if it wasn't already clear, I am not a professional. Do not try this at home. Do not copy anything I do. I don't. I really hope that's pretty straightforward. So if you're a kid watching this, don't copy me. <laughs> And I don't know what led me to do this, but I decided to increase the voltage even more. <laughs> so as you guys can tell, the drawer is done. And if you have a key fob, you're able to open the drawer without any problem. See? No shocking. But after 10 seconds is over, if you try to open the drawer, this will happen. So now it's finally time to shock my little brother. Get it? <laughs> Both physically and mentally. <laughs> So to lure him into this room, I'm gonna record the rustling sounds of a bag of Cheetos because somehow my little brother is able to hear that from a 5 mile radius. And after I did that, I set up my camera, played the Cheeto sounds on my speaker, and waited patiently. One eternity later. Huh? Now this invention clearly worked, but I am not satisfied. I need my little brother to get zapped, so I went to his room and convinced him to come back. No, it's actually safe, I swear. It's safe. Do you trust me? Yeah. <laughs> Alright brother, so as you can tell, here is my snack drawer. You tased me too much, what is this? Bruh. I don't know what you're talking about, it's literally safe. See, my hand doesn't get tased. Whoa, look at those snacks! Don't you want those? Whoa! Wow! You really want them? So now it's your turn. You can choose any snack you want. Why are you backing up? Go, just get get your snacks, bro. Get your snacks. snacks. Ah! 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 No, no, wait, 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 Are right, you still want snacks? Cause you know, me personally, I'm gonna grab myself some hmm, some Kit Kat right now. I don't know about you. If you want, y you want some snacks? Go ahead, go ahead. Are you serious right now, bro? I need therapy. <laughs> don't say that. Huh? Repeat after me. Tech Joyce does not abuse me, and she's the best big sister ever. Tech Joyce does not abuse me. You know what? Cause you said that. You can have the Cheetos. Bro, you, you fat ass!